Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at changing the windscreen wiper motor and mechanism. Um, it's in a Toyota iGo uh, 2008 model. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery, which I'll show you here. So here's the windscreen wiper itself. Here we've got the battery, so we're going to disconnect just the negative side of that. Okay, so the battery uh, negative is removed, and the next step is to remove the cap from the windscreen wiper motor. And we'll put that there for a minute. And then we've got a nut to undo there. So this bolt on here is a 12mm bolt, 12mm socket. Okay, so once you've got the nut removed, sometimes these are very difficult to pull off of the, the spindle. So luckily in this case, we've got a, a special tool to do that, which slots underneath, underneath the uh, spindle there. Will allow you to turn the turn the dial, which will ease that off of there. Okay, so once you've removed the windscreen wiper itself, there is actually a ball joint that you need to pop uh, one of the rods off as well. And um, once you've got that removed, the uh, windscreen cowling is in two halves, and normally you would have a a rivet. Uh, plastic rivet this side in the hole, the same again this side and um, on this car they seem to be missing so once you've removed them uh, it's a case of removing this side first and you can literally just pull it up with the weather strip still attached to it and you pull it towards you and away from the windscreen Same with the other side, although this has just come out with it. Let's rest that aside for the moment. Now you can access the windscreen motor assembly. So we're going to clean that up next and then undo two bolts that hold that in, which is one here and one this side. And then once we've once we've taken them off we should be able to reach the the plug as well. <coughs> okay so the two bolts are removed, that one there and that one there. And of course there'll be a plug at the back there so this should gently just lift out of this position. A bit of persuasion. There we go. I can see the wire and oh yep, so I need to undo this next here, which is the the plug. So just a tip to undo that plug. You want it where it's in like that. And just put a screwdriver under this side and lift it a little bit and it will then just come off very easily. So now that can be removed from the car completely, like so. left with that and we'll just clean that up and then put the replacement in. Ok 
Okay, so the next step is to put this back in this new one uh, into the now cleaned area. So before that, I'm going to plug the wire in. Take this into its position so that the bolt holes line up. And there is actually a, you probably can't see it from there, but there's a spindle underneath there to locate the back end of this onto which holds it in position. So, show you the camera that there's a hole in there which then locates onto a, a, a bit that sticks out under there I don't know if you can see my finger pointing but that's where it is so. So the next step is to get the screws in. The next step then is to put the cowling back on. So this side, the left side goes back on first. covers the windscreen at the bottom as well. You can see when you get it in place. Okay, and then the other side. supposed to be as well and of course now we'd normally put the pins back in here and there but uh, we don't have those so <laughs> and the next thing to do is to put the wiper back on So 
the first thing is the ball joint, which goes here. So before we put the ball joint bit on first, we're going to put a tiny bit of grease on the, on the ball joint, just to keep it lubricated. And then that pops back on there. the wiper on, trying to make sure we go to a position where it's supposed to go, estimating it probably down to there, so we'll try there, and then push down the spindle. And when we do this, the nut up, it will push it all the way in. but the bolts to uh, take the motor off were 10 mil. This one's a 12 mil. Right, next step is to give that a try. Okay, so now this is on, um, we'll do a slight adjustment to the positioning because when it comes down it's hitting the, the cowling, but that's very easy to rectify. But the main problem why we did this was because the intermittent stopped working and the windscreen wiper would park itself randomly halfway across the screen. And the first thing we thought to change was the uh, the relay, which is part of the stalk switch. Um, so we've got a second hand one of those. We put it in and it didn't make a difference. So we thought the only other option it must be is something to do with the wiper, the windscreen motor mechanism. And now we've replaced it. The intermittent's working and the wiper's landing where it's supposed to land. <laughs> so uh, a very successful job there.